Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to look at the Loa Boots Zephyr GTX Mark II. This here being the mid-cut version. Now at this point, this is again the Mark II. There was a previous version of these boots, but these are brand new for the 2024 season. I've been able to get these on my feet, wear them for quite a while now, and at this point, I definitely have some impressions. Awesome boots, beautifully made, absolutely comfortable, and good quality boots for the person who I would say is looking for daily wear, yet has that adventurous side. So if you wanna wear these for your daily needs, yet you think you might peel off, head into the woods, do something a little more aggressive, these would definitely be a fantastic offering for you. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go through these in detail. I'll show you all the features. We'll go through them from top to bottom. I get them outside for some practical field use, and then I'll come back to the studio and I'll give you my final thoughts. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at LOA who did provide these for review. And so now as we get into the details of the LOA Zephyr Mark II GTX. And in this particular case, this is the mid-height cut. There is a taller version if you so choose, but for me, the mid-cut is literally the perfect size boot and is for the most part what I typically wear. These are available in both medium and wide fit. In my case, I have a size 12 medium, which I do typically have a size 12 foot and generally for the most part is what I get for a boot size. Keep in mind the fact that again, this is the Mark II, so there are some changes over there prior Zephyr and the GTX being the Gore-Tex version. There is a non-Gore-Tex version, but in this particular case, the Gore-Tex liner definitely helping to create a water resistant and waterproof membrane on the inside of the boots to keep your feet dry yet breathe at the same time. Now I have a number of different thoughts about these. The lace system is very cool. It has a lace lock system, which is extremely effective. You can choose whether or not you like it or not. It's kind of in the eye of the beholder. In my opinion, it has some difficulties as much as advantages, but it is a very nice lace locking system and it is extremely effective. All the hardware, very nicely done. The construction on this boot, absolutely beautiful. It is a pretty simple lace design, all things considered, but then again, it does have the lace locking system two thirds of the way up the laces. As you work your way around the boots, this has a reinforced toe cap, which is awesome. So you're not gonna really damage the toe of the boots if you're kicking rocks or things like that. And they are fairly aggressive. So in my opinion, these boots definitely striking the balance between a daily wear and something that you're gonna want for more aggressive use. The instep protection here, very nice. It actually adds a lot of rigidity to these boots. So you get great ankle support. These are gusseted on the tongue and you can see high, high up, that's gonna help keep sand, dirt, debris, rocks, snow, things like that from getting inside your boots. Again, just talking about the fact that these have the Gore-Tex liner and what they're calling the Kinetic Z insole. So nice quality insoles on the inside of the boot, definitely fairly comfortable and these do fit my feet extremely well. As we remove the insole, you can see the inner construction. Again, very nicely done and everything seam sealed where it needs to be. Now they say you can wash these insoles. I personally would never really do that. I could see it leading to more trouble than it's worth. But again, the Kinetic Z insole. You'll notice that the soles, the outer soles, awesome. Slip resistant, heat resistant, fuel and oil resistant, and a nice tread design that does capture just a little bit of dirt and debris when you're kind of coming out of the muddy areas, but not too bad. They do tend to shed the mud reasonably. All in all, I do have to say, I think these are real good looking boot. Again, striking the balance between an everyday wear and more of that outdoor active wear. Now for this particular test, I am wearing sort of a mid-weight tactical sock. They're not super thin. They're also not incredibly cushioned. So a nice mid-weight sock. And I can tell you the size 12 boots on my size 12 foot 
absolutely comfortable, fitting perfectly on my feet. So I would go as far as to say, these do seem to be accurate to size. Takes a little bit to get these laced up and through that lace locking system. It is very interesting as you take a look here, getting the laces threaded through the lace lock system. That is a pro and a con, the pro being that these really do allow the laces to lock onto the boots. And when that happens, the lower section of the laces don't tend to slip. So if you get them nice and tight, they're not going to loosen up. That's obviously the case on both boots, but the difficulty comes from your inability to really maneuver. You have to pull the laces very wide and straight out before you can pull them up. And it is a little bit, eh, it just takes a little bit to get used to it. Not a big deal, but it does take a little bit to get used to it. And you'll see it does a real nice job as you get your laces nice and tight on the lower section. And then the other thing about the lace lock system is when you go to take the boots off, it doesn't really allow the lower section of the boots to loosen easily. You kind of need to maneuver things around to get the boots loosened up to where you can actually get them off your feet. But in my opinion, I think I'd rather have that than not. So the Mark II adding that lace lock system over the original version, but again, that's kind of in the eye of the beholder, whether or not you like that. I'd say again, in my opinion, better to have it than not. But with that, getting these on my feet, ready to go. How will these perform? Well, let's get these out for some field use. And so, all right, guys, there you have it, a look at the Zephyr GTX Mark II boots from Loa. Absolutely awesome. These have been great. I've had them on my feet now for a couple of weeks. I've worn them in a bunch of different scenarios, and they've been on my feet pretty much the entire time. Good quality, durable, and for the most part, very breathable. Now you'll notice that I had these in different scenarios, just generally walking around. I've been wearing these to work every single day. I work a quasi construction job, so having good quality footwear on my feet is critical. But I go between different sort of scenarios from pavement to the office. Then I'm out on job sites, walking through dirt, debris, mud, slippery conditions, things like that. So good sturdy footwear has been awesome. These have been great. I find that my feet don't sweat, at least they haven't at this point, and these definitely fit well. Again, I have a size 12 foot, fairly narrow, and these fit me literally perfectly. They're like the exact perfect size. I wouldn't change a single thing. Now, a couple of comments and not a big deal, but I do find that the sort of lace traps here are a little bit finicky in terms of my ability to really tighten these as much as I would like lower on the boot. The top, I can tighten just fine. It's the bottom section because I really have to pull at an awkward angle so that I don't bind the system, the lace system, which then doesn't allow me to tighten the lower parts of the boot. So I have to pull at a weird angle and kind of work it over. I can get them fine. It's just a little bit finicky. And that is what I can tell one of the additions for this Mark II version. 
The other thing is these do capture a little bit more dirt than I would like in the tread, but where I'm going into the office. I mean, other than that, it doesn't matter too much. So I find that every night I'm banging these out, trying to clear the mud and debris. But again, good quality tread pattern. I've had no problem slipping everything from ice and snow and all the way through mud, debris, slippery situations. That's been great. Generally speaking, I love the look of these. This wolf gray is gorgeous. They're just a good looking boot. Nice and stiff on the side. I do find that this system kind of really does stiffen up the sides of the boots. Gives you good ankle support and just a good rugged and sturdy feel while you're wearing these. So I can definitely say I absolutely recommend these. Just beautiful boots, fitting wonderfully, awesome features, really comfortable, and a nice offering from Loa. So again, to the people at Loa, thank you so much for providing these for review. For the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.